I read it, and uh, I cried. I laughed, and I just thought, man, this is just this is just a great story. Hey, what do you say? I give you a ride. Come on, I'm a cop. You trust me? This is where I'm having lunch. Well, then let me take you around the block. I'll bring you right back here where I found you. I promise. Oh, I've been around the block. The great thing about Paul, I mean, Paul is as beautiful as Penelope is. And I say that, I mean, I just looked at these two people together and I see them side by side and I say, my God, you know, can there be two more beautiful people that could be together? We have all these scenes together that are so, so intense, like many, many emotional scenes and huge fights. And we had to do all of that in two weeks. And I, I had a great time working with him. I think we, we understood very well each other. We worked very well together. I saw his earlier movies and I watched, uh, you know, Skulls and The Varsity Blues and Pleasantville. I thought that, uh, I thought that he had a, a, this talent, this talent inside of him that wasn't yet tapped. And I get very excited about tapping that in an actor and I really thought that I could bring new things out of him and make him really <clears throat> be vulnerable on screen. And I think people are going to really be amazed at the leaps and bounds he has taken, especially him and Penelope together in the, in the scenes he has with her. You hold on so tight. I can't breathe. That's because I love you so much, though. Too much? Come on, that's crazy, come on. No, it's not. You know, it was a bit intimidating initially coming into it. You know, I knew I was gonna be working with Susan Sarandon and Alan Arkin and Penelope Cruz and, you know, as excited as I was, I mean, I had, I had butterflies, needless to say, you know, coming in the first day. Okay, here you go. Here's your coffee. I have a feeling you wanted black. Right, black. I got you almond butter cookies. Almond butter cookies? Those are my favorite. I know. There's a lot of elements going on in the character. It's funny. Uh, it's conf He's confusing. He's outrageous. Ultimately, I think it's a, a, a kind of a tragic figure. He j unpeels like an onion, and not, not in an enormous amount of time. I don't have a lot of screen time, but there's still a lot of terrific unpeeling to do. And I'm getting married. I'm getting married really soon to a really great woman that I love very much. I was married once to a woman that I really loved, and that woman was you. Excuse me? Do you believe in reincarnation? How could you not? When I looked at you, when you looked at me, I knew it was she. I knew it was my Angeline, my wife. All right, that's it. You're out of here. No, no. No, you're out of here. You're my wife. No, you said stay away from me. Please, don't do this to me. And I really think this has a making to be a classic, you know, something that will really stand the test of time. And, you know, to be in a movie like that, you know, to leave that behind. <laughs> You know, maybe my grandkids, great-grandkids will watch it one day.